If you've ever struggled with putting ribbon on your Christmas tree, I think you're gonna love today's video. I am revealing all of my tips and all of my tricks on how to put ribbon on a tree so that you can make a gorgeous, stunning Christmas tree for this upcoming holiday season. For starters, I recommend choosing two to three different types of ribbon, and I would choose wired ribbon because you're gonna be able to manipulate this and make it look exactly how you want it on this tree. So for this year's Christmas tree, I'm gonna keep it a little bit neutral. So I'm going for golds, rose golds, whites, and greens. So I'm just using ribbon from my stash. So we have this beautiful sort of white and gold fringed ribbon. This one was from Michaels a few years ago. And then we also have this wired sort of rose gold ribbon. It almost has a sort of sheer romantic feel. And then I have this glittered striped ribbon. And this one was from Canadian Tire a few years ago. I don't know if these are going to be in stock now because they're few years old, but I'll link some similar ones down in that description box below. When you're choosing your ribbon, look for a couple different widths. So I have this one that's two and a half, this one is two and a half, and then this one is two inches wide. Keep everything coordinating. I love how this stripe picks up the rose gold and the gold and coordinates with these two ribbons. So when decorating my tree, I love to start with installing picks in the tree. I love the feel of a natural tree, so that's going to make my tree feel a little bit more nature inspired, a little bit more textured. So I'm going to with the picks I'm gonna add those and then we're gonna add the ribbon next all the picks are in and I love already how this looks Now it's ribbon time. So what I like to do is pick up the biggest ribbon for starter, so the widest ribbon, and do that one first. This one is my biggest ribbon, this fringed white one. I'm gonna show you my favorite technique first, and this is the cascading technique. And this is the one that I've been doing for many, many years. So you might've seen it on previous videos and on previous Christmas trees that I've done. To do this one, you cut your ribbon into two to three foot sections, and that's gonna make it a lot easier to work with. I have this piece here that's about three feet long. So you're gonna start in the tree and you're going to just put the top piece of the ribbon deep into the tree like this. And then you're just gonna simply let this ribbon hang naturally on the tree. Now you might wanna go vertically or you may wanna go diagonally on your tree to make it look a little bit more loose and romantic. So once you have it hanging about six to 12 inches down, you can push it back deep into your tree again and just let it sort of bounce around and glide around the tree. And then you can take the second loop here, place the end deep into the tree like this. So you kind of have this bouncing effect and you're gonna do a few sections of that. Take another piece of this ribbon and we'll go in a different section. So we'll go on this side and just find sort of a nice opening, pop that in nice and deep into the tree. Let it hang diagonally or vertically if you'd like. Push it deep into the tree once again let it fall and push it deep into the tree again. This one I could do one more loop. The trick with this one here is you want to just let it look natural, go diagonally, bounce back and forth. You don't want it to be this tight loop around your tree to make your tree look like it's being strangled. You want it to have this nice bouncing feel. Once you have the first color of ribbon on, you can repeat this process with the second color, third color, etc. The second technique I want to show you is the coiling technique. So I'm going to take this ribbon here and what you do with this one is you can simply wrap it around your hand just like this to create a nice tight coil like this and then pull it apart. So it creates this nice curled ribbon effect and you can place that in your tree vertically or you can even place that one horizontally. It's completely up to you. And this is kind of more of a whimsical sort of look for your ribbon. It creates a lot of texture and interest. And this one's also a great one to use if you have a sparse tree with lots of holes in it because it does fill up a lot of space. And the third one you can do is the bow technique. So you can use wired ribbon or you can use unwired ribbon for this. It's completely up to you. Unwired is gonna give you more of a natural feel and the wired is just gonna be a little bit more formal of a feel. So take a piece of ribbon about five feet long. You can do it shorter if you want to and then make two bunny ears and then simply tie them together like this. 
and you can pull on the tails to make them the length that you'd like. And with the wiring, you can manipulate it to make it look exactly how you want it. And then you can place that in your tree, kind of rest it on top of a branch. And then you can take the tails and let those bounce down the tree. And again, here we're pushing it nice and deep into the tree, letting it just gently glide out. And there we have a beautiful little bow. Here's an example of ribbons I used on my tree last year using just a nice thin quarter inch velvet ribbon for just very relaxed, loose looking bows. This next technique I call the triple loop technique and I'm gonna show you two variations of that one. So I'm just taking a piece of the wired ribbon once again. This is the beautiful rose gold piece. This one can be about one to two feet long and I'm simply, well, first of all, I'm gonna make sure that this is straightened out because this has been in my storage for a long time. You can iron certain ribbons just make sure that you don't iron it too hot. Take it and create three loops. One, two, and three. And you can kind of pinch the ends like this. And we are going to, we're running out of room here. <laughs> we're gonna tuck this into the tree just like this. And then you can spread those loops out. You can make the loops sit horizontally like this, or you could also make the loops sit vertically like this. So that is variation one of the loop method. And then there's a second variation where you can use a longer piece. Go for about a four to six foot piece of ribbon. So a ribbon like this, and then we're gonna do the loop at the top. So we're doing the one, two, three, pinching the bottom, and we're gonna leave this long tail and we're gonna cascade this down the tree. We're gonna put it in here, open up those loops, and then we're taking the tail and then just bouncing that down the tree. And you could even make this longer if you'd like to perhaps start the loop at the top of the tree and let it bounce down. Here's how these ribbons look with the lights on the tree. Okay, I'm so excited now seeing the lights on and how romantic this is looking, how sparkly and special. I think this year what I'm gonna do is do some of the ribbon with the spiral method and some with just my cascade method that I love. So I'm gonna do that to this tree and then I'll show you how the completed ribbon looks this year when we're done. So there you have it. That is how I like to put ribbon on a Christmas tree to make it look gorgeous, to make it look just loose and flowy and beautiful for the holiday season. Let me know which of these ribbon techniques was your favorite down in the comments below. Or if you have another ribbon technique you would love to share with us, please let us know down in the comments so that we can learn from each other. So stay tuned in the coming days where I will share the full decorated tree. But to be honest, I would be happy with it just like this. I think it looks fine with just the ribbon and the picks in it. I have another video for you that shares how to decorate a tree from the start to the finish, my tried and true technique that I've been doing for years. I'm gonna leave that video for you to watch next right up here.